The National Park Service does not keep a running historical tally on all the people that have ever gone missing at Lake Mead. But in just the last five years, there have been 30 known drownings. And the harsh reality is, according to the Park Service, not all of them have been found. It's a little eerie going out into the water a little bit. Joseph Milo and Cole Nichols say it's hard not to think about. It's pretty crazy. The police activity that has surrounded Lake Mead since the beginning of May. The remains of four people found in various parts of the park. The result of record low water levels. I fish out here a lot, so I see a lot of things out there. Boats start appearing out of nowhere. Eventually they come fully out of the water. It all started May 1st when a man's body was discovered in a barrel near Hemingway Harbor. Police say he'd been shot to death and could have been in the water since the late 70s or early 80s. Less than a week later, skeletal remains were found at Colville Bay. Then two more cases at Swim Beach. Once again, skeletal remains found July 25th and August 6th. It freaks me out. Like, I mean, especially like, I mean, we're walking through the mud. I mean, there's parking lawns right there. We don't even know, you know. Freddie Ramos was fishing on Saturday when he spotted a police dive team in the water. I might give up on Lake Mead. I mean, I haven't caught any fish, and then everywhere I go, there's there's bodies. So. And anything on the bottom. If you find it, if you're a scuba diver, leave it there. From the beginning, Lake Mead employees have advised visitors do not go looking for clues at any of the sites. The park is filled with cultural resources that could be disturbed or damaged. If you're worried about something and concerned that it may be associated with some something else, notify the park service, but don't touch it. As for Milo and Nichols, the recent discoveries are not enough to keep them from visiting Lake Mead. But the ongoing drought is another story. It makes you almost not want to stay here, you know, like what's going to happen, you know, once once the water's all gone, where, where are you going to go? And how much more is yet to be uncovered along the ever-changing shoreline? Denise Roche, News 3. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.